Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shawcraft One and my old barn door. And I'm back again, working in the kitchen at the camper. And since I couldn't get this stinking microwave out, we're going to start painting, okay? And so I'm going to start on these upper cabinets here. And I might regret that because, oh yes, I do have a step stool. I'm just short, so I have issues. I have short people problems. But anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and start the painting process. Um, I'll let you see me start. I'm not going to video the whole process of me painting because how boring would that be? And I am not good enough with video yet to speed it up. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I don't know how to put music to it. I don't know how to do any of those fancy things that people do with their videos. I will eventually learn one day, just not today. So, anyways, I'm just going to get started. Uh, let me just put in a disclaimer here. This is not a professional paint job, okay? I am using a very cheap, inexpensive white paint from Walmart. Um, I tried to find chalk paint, but they were out. And with the pandemic and all of the places being closed down, um, it's hard to find it right now. <clears throat> And I'm the type of person that when I want something done, I want something, I want it done now. So I'm going to use what I can get my hands on and we're going to go from there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off all of these knobs. Now, a professional painter would take the whole cabinet door off. I'm not going to do that because, well, I might can. I just hate to go through and take off all of these screws and all of that, but... I might. We'll see. But these are ugly to me. So, you know, the little pieces, I mean, they're old and they're ugly. And so, I think I actually want to paint over them and just paint it as one piece. So, I think I'll probably do that. We're going to go go ahead and, and take these off. Let me switch this out. I'm going to go ahead and take these off. Just the handles. And then we can kind of go from there and see how it, okay, that's not going to work. Maybe we need a flat one. But we'll go from here and, and kind of, we'll just, we'll paint a door and see how it goes for us. Um, it's going to make me have a lot of <clears throat> cut work, but I'm okay with that. I don't mind uh, painting with a paintbrush and, you know painting in all the little nooks and crannies. Um, I do have a little bowl here to hold my screws so that I don't lose them. So anyways, I know this is boring, so I'm going to pause it and We'll come back. Okay, so we have the handles off the doors. So I am just going to take a swipe at it, you know. Uh, what better time than the present to start painting out? Now, if these were super expensive cabinets or something like that, I would probably wait, you know, and do all of the work that you're supposed to do to cabinets. However, this is a camper, it is a vacation place, and it's not that I don't want it done correctly. I'm just not going to freak out if it's not perfect, you know? Um, and I have some really cute ideas to do in the camper. So, um, and I'm trying to decide if I want to put putty in these holes because um, I want to get some really cute knobs to put on here, like some cute little decorative knobs. So but that might be something that I do later because I'm not trying to spend a fortune and um, you know, I'm just trying to pretty it up and make it cozy and make it feel like it's ours. So, it looks like it's going to take multiple coats, which I expected. Um, so I'm just going to go in the corners and roll the 
edges. I just kind of wanted to see what kind of coverage I was going to get with one coat. Um, and it looks like it's probably going to take several coats. But it's doing pretty good with this little roller that I have. So, um, and I'd rather do thin coats so that I don't have gloopy paint everywhere. And I am definitely going to have to get a step stool because I'm too short for this. So anyways, I just wanted to kind of give y'all an update and let you know that the process has started and I'm probably, I don't know that I'll do any other video until I finish because like I say, watching somebody paint is probably about like watching paint dry so I won't bore you to tears with all of the little details. Unless you want me to. Um, but I'm trying to decide when I'm going to release these videos. Um, if I'm going to release them now or if I'm going to wait till I get everything done. And kind of just release them all in a series. So that y'all don't have to wait. But I think it would be exciting to, you know, release them one at a time. And that way you can kind of see the process. And see how long it's taken us to do the process so maybe i will go ahead and release them i don't know we'll see i'll think about it so anyways the painting fun has begun <laughs> so i will come back um in a little bit and show you guys our progress and um i have some great ideas for the remodel um Apart from painting, which is going to take me forever because there's a lot to paint. Um, I'm going to make some curtains. I'm going to use some vintage doilies and vintage embroidery pieces and make curtains. And I think I want to cover um, all of the cushioned areas with old vintage um, worn out quilts if I can find them. So I have some really, really cute ideas. Um, but I want everything to be white so that it looks more open and bright and then we'll bring in pops of color So um, but I want soft colors So it's gonna kind of be like a shabby bohemian style So um, I hope you guys look forward to the videos. I hope you're enjoying them um, Aside from having to see me with no makeup on and my hair wadded up on my head because I'm not fixing my hair and my makeup to do painting. I'm just not gonna do it so, I love y'all, and thank y'all for loving me like I am. <laughs> so, anyways, I'll come back and show you progress, and we'll just take it one step at a time. So, thank you so much for watching. Be kind. Okay, y'all. I've just walked over to the lake because um, I hadn't even got to. I've been painting the whole time I've been here. But I just had to share this with y'all. Look at this beautiful moon. Is it not gorgeous or what? It, the video does not do it justice. I mean, it is absolutely majestic. So anyways, I just thought I'd share a little piece of my paradise with y'all. Back to painting. <laughs> 